Ooh, that was I'm gonna need you to like not panic. Last Christmas. Good morning. It's so early, I'm so tired. I'm about to make my oats, my special strawberry bowl that I painted at Painter Pop. I'm tired. Excuse my hair, I fell asleep when it was wet last night by accident. I need to go to the rink. I'm really hoping that my car has petrol because I don't want to stop the petrol right now because it's so cold. I got stuck in awful traffic. That drive took over two hours. I feel really tired. Hopefully my lesson will cheer me up. Down. And just bring the right hand round a bit. And then chin up nice and proud. And let's get deeper into the ankles. Press. And you'll feel the even more into the circle. Put your hands up for Troy. So feel the body into the circle. That's correct alignment. That's good. That and long on the edges. Hold. That was a good one. Oh, that was much better. That's too tired. <laughs> much better. Yeah, now, Chloe, you can really jump, so let's go high. That's nice. Glock, 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 drive. Yeah, you can go higher on the last one. Can I? Yes, you can. <laughs> Just the arms. <laughs> jump to the roof. Yeah. Let it go, girl. <laughs> now you can jump higher again. That was good. So we'll go dry. That's nice. One more. <gasps> and rest. It's good. So left side up. Put my finger on the lens. You can take your time between the jumps, Chloe. Wait, can I reduce that? Yeah. That's good. This was good. Landing's nice too. See how light that was. Yeah, it's really good. This isn't the music from my actual program. Um, I did include it in my competition vlog, but YouTube got a bit grumpy about it because of copyright. So if you want to watch my whole program, you can see it in that blog. blog. I'll put it in the description. Ooh, that was ski go. It's a fun one. This was my first time running this program since the competition two months ago, by the way. So try and recover. through fourth and then mohawk loop oh that's where another option for that other stretch yeah. hello i just had my lesson i feel so much better after my lesson oh my god it's literally changed my life do you remember before it i was like so tired and even at the start of my lesson you can probably turn the videos i'm like I probably look so exhausted. My hair's completely come out of this flat, but I feel good. I feel so much better. I just love my program so much. It's a beautiful day. It's actually not, it's raining right now, but I'm in a good mood. Feeling sunny and happy. That skate was just everything I needed. I've been really struggling with my motivation recently. Like I haven't really been wanting to skate. When I do skate, I get there. I just feel a bit like, I don't know what to do and I just get a bit frustrated at myself. I think it's because I've had like a slight injury. I haven't been able to jump for the past five or six weeks. It was supposed to be four weeks, but I didn't like bounce back as quickly as I thought I would. And I think like I kind of struggled with that. Now I'm back and I can jump again and we've been working my program again, which has just been amazing. Hello, I'm back home. I've got my cozy jumper on. I'm gonna make some soup. I literally can't function. Don't look inside my fridge. It's private. <laughs> anyway. I'm just on my seat. It's all happening. So, because I start work at 4.45, I've got to have dinner before I go to work, which means I have to have my lunch way earlier, otherwise I don't want my dinner. So, good thing I got up so early, had my breakfast so early, that I'm hungry again now, and then I'll have really early dinner at like three o'clock. Flawless plan. 
soup of the day is this bowl soup. It's like a sweet potato, lentil. Personally, I love bowl soups. I actually have a soup maker and I make my own soups. I'm not gonna lie, my soups taste better. Like, just put it out there. But today, no. <laughs> today I'm so tired. Could I carve a butternut squash right now? Absolutely not. Hi, this is coming back big time. Do you know what I think is a really good question? When you make soup, you, <laughs> sorry, that was, sorry, that was so aggressive. You eat it with toast or bread? Because I eat it with bread. No, I'm lying. I eat it with toast. James eats it with bread. And like, I think he's right. Like, if you go to a restaurant, they give you soup and bread, right? But I just love toast. So I'm gonna go and eat this and watch TV. Bon appetit. Hello. I thought I would sleep this afternoon, but I didn't. I literally can't nap. It's so annoying because I don't know I've got like the wiggles. I've thought of the perfect dinner. I'm gonna go to work and skate for like hours and hours and hours, right? So what do you think the perfect dinner would be? Let's say at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. Giant bowl of gnocchi. If you didn't say giant bowl of gnocchi, then you're wrong. Good morning. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I have a work call. Woo! And then, then, this is exciting. I'm getting my eyebrows laminated and my lashes. I'll be old. I've never had my eyebrows laminated. I'm kind of nervous. Like, what if I hate it? Anyway, I need to have my oats because I'm so hungry. Meeting got cancelled. So I've put on a cozy jumper and I'm gonna quickly take my makeup off and then I'm just gonna go to my appointment. I was worried I wouldn't have time to take my makeup off, so I'm really pleased that I do. Because obviously you can't go to the appointment with makeup on because, well, she's gonna need access to my eyelashes and my eyebrows and stuff, so. I'm scared to like use products on my face in case it like reacts with the um, eyebrow laminating serum because I don't really know what that serum is. Here's the before. I'm gonna need you to like not panic, okay? Ready? It's okay, you can laugh. They're, they are a bit dark, but, 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 listen. I'm just in the Asda free from section getting myself a snack. Everyone told me, my sister gets her eyebrows tinted, and everyone told me, don't even look in the mirror, don't even look at them, don't even think about them for 24 hours, because, like, your skin will be dyed, so they'll look, like, intense, but they're not gonna be this intense. I literally have spent the afternoon crocheting. Here's what I made. So here's the front. This is gonna be a jumper. Just trust the process, okay? That's the word of the day. Trust the process. Okay, I need to put on about 50 layers because I'm going to work now. It sort of frightens me a bit seeing it empty like this. Like, especially that one. I don't know why. The teacups being there like that just frightens me a bit. I'm on my break again now. Oh my god, I've been so cold since I stopped skating. I'm gonna go to the pub and try and get some food. Fingers crossed the chips are gluten free. No, no one said anything about my eyebrows. What do you <laughs> What do you think they would have said? It's just very dark. How good do my eyelashes look? Mm. Kind of distracted by. <laughs> Me and my eyebrows are home from work. I got home from work and i had a headache and i felt a bit sick and then i had a panic attack so james made me a cup of tea and hopefully i'll feel better good morning <laughs> so you're not supposed to get them wet for 24 hours obviously i can't go like this so i'm gonna wash them now see what they look like oh god i need to do my hair i'm really tired but today is a day i've been looking forward to for so long i'm just really excited i haven't really thought of what i'm gonna wear I'm just gonna be spontaneous. Your best outfits come to you when you don't overthink it. I feel like if I put so much pressure on myself and I'm like, oh, I really wanna look nice, then I never end up looking right. I don't know if that makes sense. Hi, um, it's me from the future. Can I just say something, please? I was having a whole meltdown here. Like, I was actually like, I said it, like, I'm tr I was trying not to cry, right? Which is so crazy, but like, hear me out, okay? I've had the same eyebrows for 25 years, right? Like, I've never done anything with them. I barely pluck them. So for me, this was such a huge change. Like, realistically, they just, like, literally, they're just poking up in the air. But at the time, all I could see was these big black eyebrows. Like, I looked in the mirror, and I was just like, eyebrows staring back at me. And I was like, oh my god, I look so silly. When, like, looking back, I, I don't look, I don't look about that. Like, I just look pretty normal, to be fair. Anyway. Don't even worry because as soon as I see my friends, my whole mood's turned around. 
My whole mood turns around. Like, don't even worry. Okay, anyway, continue. I forgot to explain this, but the reason I'm going to Bassey today is for a PR visit, to go to the ring and then post about it on social media. That's why I was upset about my eyebrows. But I think I'm just still seeing what I saw yesterday, which is not what they look like now. Like, I saw myself in the train reflection. I was like, oh, they don't look that bad. I forgot to film anything, but I'm here now. It's a man with a camera. And um, he took some videos of us on his like GoPro and his camera. And we're just having fun. Woo! <laughs> We went for brunch and it was really yummy. We had Megan's and now we're going shopping. It's happened twice where someone's crashed into the back of me. Oh, hi. <laughs> Should we look at the sweets? Yeah, sweets. sweets. It's like flashing on the camera. I don't know why. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Okay, I'm home now. Oh my god, I'm so exhausted. You know when you stick to your hair back and then you get to massage your head. My eyebrows feel so sore. Where they got waxed and I've been scrubbing them so much, they just feel horrible. I always forget that skating is exercise. I get home from the ring and I'm like, why am I so exhausted? Oh god, I'm so exhausted. Do you know what I'm really sad about, right? I, I just left my job and I made some really, really nice friends at this job. I'm really worried that like we're going to drift apart because they don't work there anymore. I know that sounds silly. I don't know how sometimes like circumstances just get in the way and you just drift apart from people and like they're busy and you're busy and you don't see them as much anymore. Like I'm really worried about that happening because I really like these girls and like obviously if things do drift it'll be totally my fault because I'm the one that chose to leave. Right, I'm going to sit down, eat some biscuits, crochet, watch TV and Hello, I'm looking a bit rough. That's because I'm currently locked out. Luckily I have this coat in my car and something I need to return to Zara. So I'm gonna go do that now. Luckily I have my handbag and my car keys. Unlike the last time I got locked out. It's a long story how I've managed to be locked out twice. Last time I got locked out, I had no phone, no shoes, no coat, nothing. Literally just me. I think I'll get a bubble tea to cheer myself up because I'm feeling quite sad about getting locked out. Just have so much to do today. Just like, ugh. I've been rescued. After town, I quickly rushed to work and then I had such a fun shift because when I got there, ITV News were randomly there doing a story about the ring. So I basically just got to skate around in the background of that the whole time, which was actually so much fun. Okay, we need to catch up because things have happened. So the next day, James was playing football down in Guildford and I decided to go with him. And I was just going to like shop in the town while he played football and then he was going to pick me up and we were going to go to his parents and go out for dinner with like his whole family. Anyway, so I go to Guildford. I was ready to like vlog my little shopping day. I literally go to one shop. I try my first pair of jeans. Phone rings. It's James. And he's like, oh, um, my shoulders come out. Like it's dislocated. So we need to go to the hospital. I was like, oh no. So I get an Uber and I go to the hospital. And it turns out that he has dislocated his shoulder, but not in the like typical way that they could just put it back in. Um, he needs surgery. So that was like a crazy day. Um, we did still go out for dinner though, but like James was just like sad. <laughs> Poor James. Oh, I had to drive his car. That was crazy. And we did this thing. We did this game where you put on the karaoke version of a song, then you try and sing along as if you're the singer. I don't know why I'm explaining that so bad. Basically, we play karaoke in the car. Like, I don't know. Anyway, so enjoy some karaoke. I think I'm going to end the vlog there. I don't think it's been a week. I don't know how many days it's been. Bye. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy this horrible karaoke you're about to hear. Um, don't forget to subscribe because that would be really nice of you. Um, okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, girl. <laughs> I loved you, I meant it last Christmas. I gave you my heart. Yes, yes, we're bringing the stars now.
I mean, Let's get a point to ten. I think I was about seven out of ten. Seven? Yeah. I, no, sorry, I was quite perfect. Sounds like you're reading the book. I <laughs> <laughs> apologise, it's a night tomorrow morning. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that was a nine out of ten. Oh, nice. At the time of my life, and I've never felt this way before.